Hi everyone, my name is Kyle. And I'm Keith. And welcome to New Wave Art, where innovative fine art products are created. If you'd like to finish your wooden artist palette, our New Wave Palette Finish is a great product for you. We're going to take you through the steps to show you how to finish your wooden artist palette in order to achieve maximum durability and a rich patina. But let's first talk about the product. Historically, linseed oil has been a very common substance used to finish an artist palette. However, linseed oil used as a finish has its flaws, as do some of the synthetic finishes available. Some of the common flaws include tacky palette surfaces with long cure times, which creates a haven for mold, and then you have surfaces that yellow, chip, and even crack over time. The problem is that most finishes are not durable enough to be used for a palette. Focusing on these key points, we sought out to create a better product, a product first of its kind. First, our low glare finish is intended for finishing an artist palette so it's hard and durable enough to withstand standard artist mediums and solvents. Second, it dries fully within 24 hours, is resistant to mold, and does not turn yellow with age. Third, it's made with the lowest toxicity levels possible, using 99% botanical ingredients, including polymerized hung oil and a citrus solvent made of distilled grapefruit and orange peels. Our product is 100% free of any petroleum distillates. And last but not least, our product comes ready to use. No additional mixing is needed. Trial and error proved tongue oil to have the qualities that you as an artist could actually benefit from. Now a lot of you might be asking, what exactly is tongue oil? Tongue oil is pressed from the nuts of the tongue tree, which is a tree native to the Orient. It's been used for generations in the Orient in ink sticks and oil paints. Reason being, its resistance to fading and cracking has helped paintings and calligraphy retain their allure for centuries. As if that's not enough, tongue oil is great for waterproofing and has excellent resistance to alkids and acids. Bottom line, it's a very durable oil with lots of uses. Now, tongue oil in its natural form is impressive, but when correctly polymerized, which means cooked, and mixed with the purest citrus solvent available, New Wave Palette Finish is created. If you're interested in learning more about the science and craft behind our formulation, please visit us at newwaveart.com. For those of you who are visual learners, Kyle's going to show you this quick, easy process to finish your artist palette. The process will take four days and approximately 15 minutes per day. Now your New Wave Palette Finish Kit includes just about everything you need in order to finish your palette in order to achieve a rich patina. The only thing not included is your brush and your wooden artist palette. We recommend using a one inch synthetic brush and a New Wave artist palette. However, any artist palette will do. First things first, pull out your application directions provided in your New Wave Palette Finish Kit. If followed correctly, you're guaranteed a durable surface. Now before you begin finishing your palette, if you plan on staining it, please don't do so before you begin your day one application directions. Today we're going to finish a palette free of any stain. We're going to finish a Highland palette, which is our plain air palette made of hard white maple. Yeah. First thing, pull out your day one baggie, which has two pieces of 220 grit sandpaper and a piece of 100% cotton cheese cloth. We're first going to start by sanding the pallet in the direction of the grain. What we're doing is we're opening up the pores on the wood so it absorbs the finish quicker. Be sure to get both sides. Now that you've done this, it's time to take a rag and wipe off all the dust that you just created. Be sure to get both sides. Now you have a sanded piece with the pores open. Next you're going to pull out your palette finish. And we're going to start putting on that first application. Using your one inch synthetic brush, you can start by lightly putting it on. It has that beautiful amber color. Be sure to coat every square inch of your palette, including the back and sides. We 
we have this last corner here. And there you have it, your first coat of your New Wave palette finish is on your palette. Now what we're going to do is we're going to lean it up against the wall so that both sides can dry evenly and so that you don't get any unwanted dust or dirt connecting to the finish. Since I don't have a wall handy, I'm just going to lean it up against this for now. I'll see you in 30 minutes. Welcome back to your day one application directions. In order to finish your day one, we're going to take your palette, which should be pretty much fully dry by now. And we're going to apply another thin coat of palette finish to your palette. What we're doing here is we're going to coat the palette on the front, the sides, and the back again. Same exact process that we did 30 minutes ago. Okay, now we're just wrapping this up. Front, back, and sides are fully coated. Now I'm just going to lean this up against my makeshift wall for the time being. Currently finished with your brush. So let's take your brush cleaner. I like using odorless mineral spirits. And we'll put that in there. Okay, push that off to the side. Now we're going to take the remaining sandpaper that's in your day one application directions. And we're going to take out your 100% cheesecloth. What we're going to do is we're going to take your palette that has the wet palette finish on it. And we're going to start wet sanding. Now what this wet sanding does, it really works the finish into the palette and also creates a very smooth surface. We're going to do this to both the front, back, and sides. It should only take a minute or so. Now that we're wrapping up the sanding process, we're going to pull out your 100% cotton cheesecloth. We're going to wipe in a circular motion until your palette's completely dry. This doesn't take long at all. Once we do that, we're going to wipe with the grain. Keep in mind, everything we do on this palette, we always want to do it with the grain. Sand with the grain, wipe with the grain finish on with the grain. Now we're going to wipe the back in a circular motion again, same thing we did to the front. Okay, just about dry. Now we're going to wipe with the grain. Nice even lines. Okay, there you go. I'm going to put this off to the side. Now we're going to take your palette and we're going to lean it up against the wall again. And again, what this is going to do is your front and your back are going to dry evenly and it's going to prevent any unwanted dirt from sticking to it. Now it's going to lean up against this wall for about 24 hours and then we'll begin your day two application process. We'll see you then. Hi everyone, welcome back. We're going to start your day two application directions. First, going to start by taking your bag mark day two, pull out your sandpaper and your 100% cotton cheesecloth. First things first, we're going to begin your cure test. Essentially, what this does is it makes sure that the palette's completely dry before you apply another coat. So, what you're going to do is you're going to push your fingertips across the palette. If they glide smoothly, then you're ready to begin day two. However, if there's any friction or pull felt, then you're going to want to let it dry for a little bit longer. However, this feels pretty good. What we're going to do is we're going to open up your palette finish and we're going to apply another coat of palette finish on it. We're going to clean off all of your brush cleaner. Okay. Take a rag here. 
get that nice and dry. Alrighty. So essentially, same process we did in day one. I'm just going to apply another thin coat. Make sure that your front of your palette, the back of your palette, and all the sides are coated evenly. Now what we're going to do is take your brush, put it off to the side for the time being. We're going to take your palette and we're going to lean it up against your wall again. We're going to let it dry for about 15 minutes. See you in 15 minutes. Hello and welcome back to your day two application directions. In 15 minutes, your palette shouldn't be all that dry. Because what we're going to do is we're going to start by wet sanding again. Again, what wet sanding does is it really works the finish into the palette and creates that smooth surface. All this is adding to its durability. Now remember, you always want to wet sand with the grain. And we just wet sanded the front and the back of the palette. We're going to put this off to the side. Now what we're going to do is you're going to take the cheesecloth and you're going to perform the same motions that you performed in day one. Circular motions until your palate's completely dry. Okay, now we're going to go in a straight line. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing to the back. As I mentioned before, everything should be with the grain. There you have it. We're going to lean it up against your wall. I'll see you in 24 hours.